Greetings, greetings, my fellow descendants to Bora JK Pro, and I'm back with yet another interesting tutorial. Yeah, this is my new home, and you guys have not been seeing my face for years. So today I'm gonna to be talking about mathematics, grade 12. You guys have been asking for those tutorials. So today I'm gonna to be introducing everything in mathematics. Most of you guys know me for English, but I'm back, right? So before I continue, when I don't any favor, you're gonna go to Facebook and like the Sci Masters page. We're at Sci Masters. Go to Instagram, Sci Masters, and then you go to the TikTok. It's at Sci Masters ZA. Then you hit the subscribe and like button. Drop your comments and what you think about this tutorial. Sure. So let's go um, about it. Uh, guys, mathematics in grade 12 starts from grade 11, right? So that's what you must understand. It starts in grade 11. So I'm just going to do a little bit of introduction on what carries the whole paper. If you don't know what I'm going to teach right now, then you're not going to get that distinction that you want. So now listen to me very, very carefully. We want, I'm introducing it now. We have what we call the standard formula. As long as you don't understand what the standard formula is, there is absolutely nothing that you can solve in paper 1 and paper 2, right? So that's where we're going, the standard formula. What is the standard formula? They used to tell me that it's A x plus b x plus c that's your standard formula do you understand what i'm saying so what does this tell you right remember we have x the x is always a variable right so we must understand what does this mean right oh i'm sorry it's a x squared thank you very much Sharp. so we have a x squared plus b x plus c right a represents a number b represents a number c represents a number x is a variable do you understand what i'm saying so you probably ask yourself how does this thing help you right so for instance if i have an equation that says maybe 3x squared uh, minus uh, 2x uh, plus 3 is equals to 4 right and they say to you yeah you must solve for x right so if you're solving for x right there what are you gonna do you have to factorize. What if you don't know how to factorize? So I, I was very, very bad at factorizing at high school. So what did I used to do? I used to say we have what we call the standard formula. The standard formula, right, gives birth to what we call the quadratic formula. So standard formula gives birth to what we call the quadratic formula. So I used to call it the Q formula, right? What is the Q formula? Right, this is the Q, Q, Q formula. Come with me. Right, sharp. So the Q formula now, it's this now. I forgot it, but I'm, I'm just gonna try and remember. It's there behind your 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 your, uh, your, your answer your, your answer sheet or your question paper. Uh, when it comes to the formula sheet, I think you're gonna find it there. I'm still looking for mine. So it's x negative b plus minus b squared, right? Four a c over two a, right? So what's happening here? This was it's the baby of the standard formula. This is going to help you to understand the standard formula even better. I say we have a question which is asking us to solve for 3x squared minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 4. Right, now listen to me very, very carefully. We are looking for x, so we are solving for x, right? We're solving for x, right? So what do I need to do? Right, remember, standard formula says here it's a number, b is a number, c is a number. We already know this is the coefficient of x squared, which means this is our a, right? We already know that this is a coefficient of x, it's also negative two, which is our b, right? So this is our b, and then our c is there, right? But now, you have to think about something. This can't just be our c, because now, what our standard formula says is that you can only solve for this if this whole thing is equated to zero, right? So I have to take this and bring it to the other side so that this thing can be equated to zero first so that I can solve what I'm solving. I hope I'm making sense. If you're confused, you can ask on the comment section, right? So now I take this four and I bring it this side. It becomes a negative four plus three, which is a negative one. So basically my negative one is actually my C now, right? So what do I have to do now? I just have to plot now. I just have to substitute and every time we substitute, what do we do? We open up brackets. Sharp. So negative, then I open up my brackets. What is my B? I said it's negative two, right? Remember there's a what? A negative B, then there's a plus, minus, then square root, right? What's the B against still a negative two? Squared, minus four. What is our A? Open up brackets. Our A is three. Then our C is a negative one, right? Please don't make a mistake. Please do understand what has happening there. Perfect. Over 2A. What is 2? Two? 2A, two our A is still 3. Then you just punch this in your calculator. So people will ask, how do you punch this in your calculator? Right? Punching this in your calculator, you're going to start by punching in 
the plus first. Don't put there's nothing such as plus minus in a calculator. So you'll first start by the plus, then you punch in everything, then you get your answer. It will say x is equal to wara 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 wara. Then o, right? Then you punch in the negative, and then x is equal to what? Now listen. Every time you have a question like this, just know that you're gonna have two answers. It's always gonna be two answers. So if you get one answer, there's a problem, right? Unless otherwise, there's always going to be two answers because this is what we call a quadratic equation, right? So it's a quadratic because it has a square, right? So every answer that you're going to get here will have two answers there, right? So just punch in this. So this is what I used to use because I couldn't factorize. I couldn't factorize at all. So this is what I used to use. But if someone can factorize, they'll start by taking this to the other side and then they open up brackets, then they factorize, 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 and then they start solving, which is a very, very long process for someone who is struggling with maths, right? Um, that's it for today. Stay tuned. For part two, where I'll be going deeper and deeper into introducing algebra and introducing paper one and mathematics. Don't forget to follow us on all social and digital platforms from me, your boy, right? JK Pro. I'm out. Oh, yeah.